Jerry Harrison here with the tax tip of the week. The residential energy tax credit is back. This new credit is 30% of cost up to a maximum of $1,500. There are no individual limits for different types of qualifying purchases like there were in the 2006 and 2007 credits. And you are eligible for the credit even if you previously took that $500 credit. The $1,500 credit is currently available for 2009 and 2010. There are no income limitations, so anyone can qualify for this credit. Qualifying expenses include those for insulation, exterior doors and windows, furnaces, and hot water heaters. Be aware that not all windows, doors, and furnaces qualify. Make sure you get in writing from your installer that your purchase will qualify. For example, a furnace must be a minimum of 95% efficiency rating to qualify. Replacing roofs only qualifies if you are adding a metal roof or reflective asphalt shingles. Appliances do not qualify for this credit. The credit is available for improvements done to your primary residence, not to rental or investment properties. Additionally, for solar, wind, and geothermal expenditures, it is a 30% credit without regard to the $1,500 limit. The solar, wind, and geothermal credit is available until 2016. The residential energy tax credit is a non-refundable credit. If you do not use it all in the current year, you can carry it forward to use in future years. Look soon for an appliance rebate credit that is being discussed in Congress right now. For a more in-depth discussion of the Residential Energy Tax Credit, go to jerryharrison.com and review our January 2010 online newsletter. Or call 729-4144 and make an appointment today for help in preparing your income tax return with a Residential Energy Tax Credit.